Okay, let's prepare the filling for the pumpkin pie. Start with the eggs. I'm gonna crack them into a little bowl. I always like to crack the eggs into the bowl, into a separate bowl first, just to make sure that if you have any shells, they, weren't, they aren't gonna get into your, uh, the final product. Okay, and I'll just beat those a little bit for a second here. Okay, that's ready to go. All right, and I'm gonna start with the pumpkin, pumpkin puree. And by the way, if you have some fresh butternut squash or fresh pumpkin, by all means use it. Just bake it up um, in the oven and use that puree. And so this is canned puree. Um, it just depends on the time of year, what you can have available. But uh, any sort of butternut, acorn, any squash, pumpkin, they all taste really good. It's kind of actually the, a big Hubbard squash is kind of an ugly squash, but they make really good pumpkin pies, basically. Um, so I'll mix that together a little bit along with the spices. Um, just gonna start mixing that up. Now I'll add the eggs. So after the eggs, I'll add the half and half. But just be a little bit careful, it's very wet right now. But this is a simple filling, it all comes together. Just use a rubber spatula and gradually mix it all together and it'll be just fine. Just make sure you have a big enough bowl so that it can all come together. Mix that and you can do this in the electric mixer if you have one uh, and you, uh, you've got some time to do that. But it also is really easy to bring it together by hand. Um, and that's about it. A few more strokes and it'll be ready to go. And I've got my pepitas. They've been toasted with a little bit of oil and salt. Those are ready to go. They're cool enough to handle. Just be careful, they're really hot out of the oven, so let them cool off for a little bit. And these are, this is just about ready to go. Let me grab my blind baked crust, and we'll finish putting it together, and then we'll be ready. Mm -hmm.